Indelani, Indelani, we shall pursue the Nambula. Indelani, Indelani, we shall pursue the Nambula. Here am I, here am I, Mamkumbos, am I, here am I, Mamkumbos, am I, here am I, here am I, here am I, Mamkumbos, am I, here am I, here am I, Mamkumbos, 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 am I, here am I, here am I. One Come and see the moon is walking. The moon is Come shining. and see the moon is walking. The moon is shining. Come and see the moon is dancing. Come and see the moon. Is Come and see. Moon is Come and see. Moon is this shining. is a miracle. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. The moon is dancing. Come and see the moon. Come and see. Come and see the moon is dancing. Come and see the moon is dancing. Come and see the moon is dancing. Come and see the moon. Come along, my brother. Come and see. Kwetu is a centre for boys who've been rescued from the streets. Um, the boys that we were working with had been off the streets for two weeks, so it's a rehabilitation centre. We did circus skills workshops. Um, we did boy juggling, um, I was teaching slackline, we did hula hoops, we did songs and games with them. I think it's really great to do circus skills with this kind of youth because they really learn how to work together and they really learn how to trust each other. So things um, like when I was teaching the slack line, I was encouraging them to support each other and it helps build trust and um, trust of each other, which may have been broken when they are living on the streets and don't have them. Come and see the moon. Come along, my brother. Come and see the moon. Come along, my sister. Come and see the moon. Come along, my brother. Come and see the moon. is dancing. Come and see the moon. is dancing. Come and see the moon. is dancing. Come and see. So we did an outreach to Heshima, which is a school project for young people with disabilities. Um, we did lots of sensory games as part of an uh, interactive performance. Um, they were totally delightful and full of beans and very excited to, to share a workshop performance experience with us. So, Agape was the children's home and uh, school where we went for uh, five afternoons, I think. Mm. I had uh, 20, maybe 20 kids who were really into acrobatics. They stayed with me the whole week and they were really good and they learned a lot and I did it proper standing in line and waiting and uh, cartwheels and fun girls. And I'm super excited, it was the best for me. So we did a wonderful outreach in a place called Daphne Beach. Um, we did workshops, PE classes and two shows. One of which was a special evening fire show for what they call orphans and vulnerable children that live in the home. We also had a wonderful daytime show that was full power, full energy um, and we turned 40 minutes of material into an hour and a half show because it was such a laugh.
with Sarah Kazi, and it was heartbreaking, but incredible. It was beautiful. We joined some regulars who are there every week. They throw on a puppet show and sing music to all the children. We kind of parade around the wards and slowly gather more and more children to sing along with us, dance around, go into each room, and uh, then gather into the center to start the puppet show. We performed our own show there. It was a blast. The kids loved it. The goal of the project is to show up and share with the kids to allow them to forget that they're in the hospital. And one of the workers on the project, he said that because it's quite sad to go there um, and also to the burns unit and he said that sometimes we give a little happiness and take a little sadness and put the equilibrium back, which is a really nice way of looking at it. It was just the three guys who sometimes trained us at Kasi who were giving classes in the children's home where they were living. Um, so it was really small and had very like limited resources in terms of training space. And in the end, we, we were all five of us there and two of us had to sit with the smallest children like having toddlers sleeping in our arms so that the older children could take part in the workshop. It was really heartbreaking because there were so many of them and so little space and they all wanted to play. Um, I think we gave them a really nice workshop and it was beautiful. Hashima Girls is a centre for girls and women who are refugees um, who have come to Kenya and um, it's a beautiful project. They really support all the girls. A lot of them have been through various trauma um, in the countries they've come from. Uh, we went there and did a show. It was really, really well received. And um, I think because there's a lot of women on our tour, it was really nice to have a female empowerment show, um, just showing them what's possible through practice and working together. During the show they got really excited about the limbo and it was just lovely to see so many smiles and that's part of our work, it's just spreading smiles and lifting some of the heaviness of life. Thanks for watching!